Bach was awarded $100 in damages plus court costs. She apologized to the judge, calling this a mundane but critical consumer matter. With her toilet tissue in tow, Mary Bach entered the magisterial district judge's office in North Versailles Tuesday morning, prepared to plead her case. There's a principle involved when a merchant is charging sales tax on non-taxable merchandise, somebody has to hold them accountable. Bach, who describes herself as a consumer advocate and careful shopper, says she paid too much for toilet tissue during two separate trips to the Kmart in North Versailles in April. She says she was charged sales tax and toilet tissue is a non-taxable item in Pennsylvania. Bach says when she told the cashiers what happened, they didn't reimburse her the difference for the tax. There is an error and it should be fixed. And when a good customer like me calls it to the attention of the store and they don't fix it, they've got an internal problem. This isn't the first time. Bach told us she filed suit against Kmart in 2007 and twice in 2009 for the same issue, winning her case each time. And she says she bought toilet tissue at five other Kmart stores across the state over the past two months, and each time she was charged sales tax. Lisa, I bought the same toilet tissue products, one or the other, or both, in Easton, in Carlisle, in York, in Shemokin Dam, in Harrisburg, all charged me sales tax. So it was endemic in their system. Kmart's attorney declined to comment but said charging sales tax wasn't intentional but a mistake at the store level. Lisa Washington, KDKA TV News.